how do you let go of people oh i love this question <laughs> how do we feel on fake friends oh, yeah. will you ever let someone else close to you again um brooklyn give me a kiss <laughs> what would you do if your best friend started talking to your crush or your ex Good y'all, it's your girl Brooklyn Queen and welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title, you already know what's going on in this freaking video. I'm in the car, I don't feel good. Why I don't feel good isn't your isn't your business. I might tell y'all that one day. But like, it's not your business. Stay in your place, Saina. Like, I love you guys. Y'all know I'll tell you anything. Right now I'm with P. Look. Yeah, me. Girl. We got Sanai and Hey. And right now, we're going to Starbucks. Um, You're gonna get to know all of our orders. Also, we're doing a girl talk while we sip our Starbucks and drink the tea and spill some tea. below y'all starbucks order because i would love to know and if you have any like secret menu items that you want me to try comment down below and i'll try them okay so we did a spin the wheel on what i should get out of medicine ball a refresher or matcha and it became matcha so we're gonna get something with matcha what are you gonna get wow. um probably vanilla bean what's y'all um starbucks orders i'm a chai vanilla chai kind of girl i'm gonna get the puppy chai what the fuck? You never get that. But it was good. I tried yours yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't try to hate when somebody I steal gets, your drink. Yeah, you're my drink. Oh my god, I hate when somebody yeah, steals yeah. my you order. Did, like you know you don't get that. I hate when somebody steal yeah. my order. A matcha frappe with caramel drizzle and strawberry puree in the cup. This is mine. It looks so good. All right, y'all, so now we're finna do, y'all just lean in like to the middle more. Um, a girl talk. I got a damn bacon gouda cause they had nothing I wanted at Starbucks. And I don't know what this, I've never had this before. <sighs> <It's just laughs> no, I'm not good. Okay. Girlfriends acting gay towards one another. How our opinion on it? Girlfriends acting gay. Brooklyn, give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't even play like that. So don't I don't do that. Like, yeah. So I, <laughs> yeah, I, I would twerk on my friends. Like I would do that. Yeah, that's about it. I wouldn't do nothing with none of my friends. My friends are my friends. I would kiss my friends. Not like romantically, but well, what other way? Like like to be kissing like for a long time, like that's crazy. But like <laughs> like you know, like if I was to give you a kiss on your cheek or something, oh. like I would kiss you. She's a little fruity bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're a little fruity tonight. I'm a little fruity. Very much. I mean Bitch, you're the whole fruit. Okay, I bro, oh, that's different. Most of my shit up. <laughs> How to keep your vag smelling good. Get you a vagic stick. That's hey, all I'm gonna say. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what? There's no one there's no way to like that. How to keep like um this <laughs> 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 Y'all just gotta get a vagic stick, look it up. And it's gonna help you. When do you think it's appropriate to wear makeup? Like what age? I would say like 12. 16, 13. I'd say like 12. I don't really know. I feel like makeup is a way to express yourself. So like whatever point you feel like you're ready to express yourself. Right. I don't express yourself. Really, like I know you deal with your emotions off camera, but don't you just want to beat the fuck out of these messy bitches? Yes. <laughs> like. Very nice. Who are you? Can we be friends? <laughs> yeah. 
y'all really don't know what be going on behind camera like i be going through so much half of the shit y'all y'all would never know though because i make it look good on social media how do you tell a guy who thinks that they're your boyfriend to fall back how does he think that they're your boyfriend <laughs> i mean yeah like um, you clearly been leading him on, on. <laughs> you need to fall back yeah, so he knows to fall, fall back, back. <laughs> like, hello <laughs> how do you let go of people oh i'm pray a prophet. about this i say pray about it i don't care about losing people Right. If See me, y'all. I'm so I'm so used <laughs> to losing people. Like I'm numb to it. Like it's normal for people to walk out of my life or for me to let people go. Like that's just been the cycle of my life. Literally, everybody y'all seen me around. There, I'm no longer around them anymore. Unless it's like blood family. Like I'm numb to losing people. Mm -hmm. So when I, how do you, how do you let go of somebody? it's normal it's just like okay they're gone let go bye like on to the on to the next person who's gonna come around me and the same shit's gonna happen mm -hmm. so yeah. i think letting go of people um you have to cut off all contact like don't watch their page don't text them don't like do no contact go like go. that's yeah like that's the best way to like let go of let go of someone like don't check on them don't check their page don't check what they're doing like once you convince your brain to stop giving a fuck uh -huh, you're not going to give a fuck like mm -hmm. yeah you just got to stop giving a fuck if it's you still really want to follow them mute their pages no like, i think the best way to fully let go is to what you said is like for real no don't look at the, don't look at their page don't but i feel like you can't fully I didn't mean to cut you off, but I feel like you can't really like let go of somebody until you're completely disgusted with them. Mm. Like you're gonna let somebody mm -hmm. take you there, yes. all the way there, yes. Until you until don't wanna be. When you look at them and you wanna throw up, that's when you know it's time to let go. Like it's time to let go. Off, like scared. everything the person does turns you off. Yes. Like they're disgusting. You will be yes. there. You cringe. You'll like. be done. <laughs> Because yeah. this stuff I look at and I'm like, damn, like, I, I was tripping over that. Like, ain't no way. First period and how did you tell your mom? <laughs> My first period, I was 13 on March 13th. Um, and I just went to the bathroom. I just, like, my stomach was hurting the whole day. I went to the bathroom. And like I put my pants down to use the bathroom and there's blood everywhere. I started crying my eyes out because I thought I was dying. Um <laughs> so dramatic. She's just so I That's thought I was so dying. I was losing so much blood and I called my mama in there and I started crying and then she started crying. <laughs> and it was just yeah, and it was a good experience, I guess. Oh but then I got like babied for like, you know, the rest of the little the rest of the week or whatever. Yeah. Oh my god! My I was at Peyton's house. When you yes, started your period. We were in seventh grade, bro. Oh, I was in and seventh grade. I'm just sitting here lying. Yes, no, bro. You were we were at my house, and you're like, oh, oh my god, I did. Yeah. My mom was out of town. Yes, you were at my house. Oh shit, that's Aww. crazy. You cursed me. This question says tips on losing your virginity. Don't. <laughs> Keep that motherfucker. <laughs> Keep it for as long as you can. And and if you are losing it, um, make sure it's to someone that you love, that you care for. Don't don't lose it just because you're in the moment and it's just like some random person and you're just like, oh, I want to have sex. This is like he wants to have sex with me. No, he wants to have sex with you and then he's gonna leave you the fuck alone after that. So make sure it's someone that you love and that loves you. For sure. I agree. I think that you should know that your body is a temple. And when you allow somebody into your body, you're allowing their spirits into your body. So right. sex is very spiritual. Mm -hmm. Whether you believe it or not, energy transfers through sex. Yeah. And if you having sex with somebody who you arguing with all the time and that's mad all the time, best believe, baby, you're going to be upset. You're going to be like a little demon. Mm -hmm. Just walking around like a little demon. 
So just have sex with somebody that feeds your spirit positively, not negatively. I agree. Yeah, and don't yeah. rush. Just you because know. your friends are doing it, don't think, oh, like, I this is something I need to be doing. Yeah, yeah it's like, stay different. And, yeah. Your body don't be no follow. Prize. Yeah, your body is the prize. Like, seriously. Don't rush. Because one thing is that you don't want to regret. No? <laughs> did someone just shake? Yeah. I thought I just did that. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, the one thing that you don't want to regret is losing your virginity. Like, that's one thing that you're going to like. Do any of y'all regret it? Um, like, do you regret the person you lost it to? Like, yeah. do, you, do, you, do you, know? you regret that? Do you used to know? Actually, no. I still talk to mine to this day. I don't talk to him anymore, oh, but I, I think that without me doing it with him, I wouldn't have been open to doing it at all. Like, I was one of those girls that felt like I was going to keep my virginity till keep marriage. Married. Yeah, like, I was one of those. So, I feel like... He opened the door for other people. <laughs> so. Oh my God, shut up. I don't regret mine. I, get, I, don't, I don't regret it. I, I think everything it. happens for a reason. If you see this bookie, I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell to the no. It says, how to know if a guy's really into you. Mm. He's going to go. Oh my gosh, the effort. He's going to show you so much effort. Like, like you've never seen before. When I, <laughs> next question, we're not even gonna answer. I feel like I feel like a man that is consistent. What? Consistent. Effort. Uh, effort. Honest. Cares about you. Honest. If he shows, oh my God, listening. When you don't like, you know how you talk, and it could just be like the littlest thing, like, oh uh, yeah, um, I wanna, I wanna do this one day, or like something, like, and he takes Did you, you to just do start it. crying. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then he takes you to do it, or just like the little things, like they listen. Um, yeah, I feel like you know, a man is into you when they're not into anything but, but you. you. Like, like men are gonna say a lot of stuff to let you hear what they want to hear, but it, I feel like I'm at a point in my life where I know when a man wants something from me and when a man wants me. Parissa, how you know? Girl, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's <a problem. laughs> I mean, it just depends, like, what he wants from me. Like, if a guy is texting me, like, at 10 o'clock, talking about, what are you doing? Can I come get you? Like, you know what's up with him. He just wants to have sex with you. But if he's texting me at 9 in the morning, like, Good morning, ready, beautiful. Or, yeah, good morning, beautiful. Get ready. Let's do something. You know he wants to learn you. He's trying to, you know. Yeah. If a guy is hitting you up at 10 o'clock, he's really not the one. Any advice to people that are suicidal? Honestly, y'all, I don't know what to say because I've never been suicidal, me either. Yeah, suicidal I, I or down me. that bad to want to do something to myself. I've never, so I don't know what advice to give you. Yeah. Like all I can say is stay prayed up because God's gonna help you through everything. Right. In high school, I used to be suicidal. So how did you get through it? I had a good support system. Like your family? Yeah, like I went to therapy. They put me on antidepressants and stuff. And y'all, the antidepressants was making me even more sad. Like, what the fuck? So don't do no drugs. I'm telling you, don't do no drugs. Don't give, don't give you no drugs. But um, my mom, my mom and my dad are one of those people who really like don't really believe in like depression. Do you know what I mean? Like, and not in like a way that's like. You can't be depressed, but more so like, what is there to be depressed about? Like, life is good. Right. Money's good. You know, like, you have clothes on your back, shoes on your feet. Like, what could you possibly be depressed about? Like, it's people who don't have food, don't have, you know, like, mm -hmm. nowhere to stay. Like, what could I be depressed about? But it was just so much deeper than that. Like, I was fighting literally my own battles that I couldn't, like, you know? And I think that's why I had to go through, like, this whole journey of self-love because... Is that when you got closer to God? Yeah. 
I had to literally get closer to God. I feel like that's the only way. Because it was almost like the devil was in his ear trying to convince me to do something. And then the more I like gave myself to God, the more I like kept going to God. It was kind of like back up, like get out my ear, like stop mm -hmm. talking to me, like why do you keep up? But oh, like, but I was so weak at a point where it was like, damn, what is he saying? Mm -hmm. Like, what is what is he over here trying to tell me? Right. But then the more I got closer to God, God was telling me like, we don't mess with him. Right. We don't. We don't <laughs> fuck with him. We don't go that way. He, he's right. a bad guy. Right. So, um, honestly, just read the Bible. And if you're really, if you if you look at it in a boring way, like if you think it's because it's the Bible, like um. My honest advice is read it like it's a book because the chapters are interesting and every Bible has a story and it like it, you can relate. You can relate to it. Like if you think you don't relate, you can relate to the Bible. It's something in there. Will you ever let someone else close to you again? Um, yeah, I, I probably shouldn't, but like I can't push people away just because of however like this many people have done to me you get what i'm saying like i can't just push people away because they could be genuine and it could be love coming towards me that i need but i can't not have friends based off what the past ones did to me how are you doing mentally things you do to take your mind off of being sad or overthinking for me mentally <laughs> for me mentally every time y'all ask this question i always say i'm good and i'm never being truthful even though i should be truthful to y'all and not lie to y'all but today i'm not gonna say i'm good because i've been going through a lot even though on social media i make it seem that i'm just like i'm good and i just don't care about nothing and, and i'm just strong yeah i'm strong but eventually, like, the strong ones is going to fucking fall down one day. Like, they're going to fall. I mean, I'm going to get back up. But at the end of the day, like, yeah. So mentally, no, I'm not okay. What do I do to keep my mind off of stuff? Go to sleep. Um, be around friends. How do y'all deal with cramps? Get you a heating pad and take some ibuprofen and you'll be fine. It's not even that bad. <laughs> I promise you. I hate when the girls just be like, oh, my cramps, my cramps, my cramps. I can't even walk. I, bitch, it's not that bad. Come on now. <clears throat> you can do it. It'd be horrible. <laughs> no, like, I'm not one of them much, girls. Listen, the first day, my cramps still hurt. Bad, but I can still function. After that, they lighten up and it's just like I get cramps here and there like... But it it's not day. that like yeah you the first day cramps? is bad. I don't know my but sister. Like, my sister used to have cramps where she used to have, like literally crawl on the floor. Like I think it's just my genetics. Like my I'm, cramps I'm saying for are me. so bad, y'all. It's not that bad. Like I can function. Weight gain tips in the butt area. Eat rice and go to the gym and work out or dance and or squats. twerk. Constantly twerk or do squats and your butt is gonna get bigger. You I promise you. That's what I do. Y'all wonder why this ass so fat? It's because I twerk 24-7. It helps. I promise. I was born with it. Wanna go twerking yeah. after this? I had a fat ass since I was one, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. What would you do if your best friend started talking to your crush or your ex? Girl, you better look you better pray on your lucky stars that you see um the next day in the morning. I feel like at this age, you need to let people do what they want to do to see what they rather do. And if a bitch around me want to fuck with somebody that I like or that I liked, that's not, that's not snip, cool. snip, ho. That's, cool. that's kind of. How do you generally feel after everyone you were close to hurt you? Honestly. Like I said, I'm numb to it. But like, y'all know them nights when you're just in your room by yourself, like, then you just get to thinking. Like, you know like when you just keep scrolling through different apps and it's just getting boring, you have nothing else to do, and you put your phone down, you're just sitting there thinking, like, those be the nights, I'd be literally crying. Like, no one knows that, but like, I will be crying. Like, I don't like when people see me cry, so I'll be by myself anytime I cry. But, I mean, it's hurtful because 
you don't do nothing to when you don't do nothing to somebody and you're just showing them love doing nothing but helping them blowing them up making them feel confident about themselves changing their whole lifestyle literally changing their whole lifestyle the way they live the way they think and then they do you dirty it's fucked up because i would never do somebody like that it's a couple bitches mad because i don't fuck with them no more and if you say you so won't bother what you speaking on me for bitch oh i love this question <laughs> how do we feel on fake friends oh i got a word i feel like number one if you've known a person for a really long time and you've learned their character and learned who they were and learned how they are shouldn't nobody nothing or anything coming in between that friendship mm -hmm. you feel me like the moment that you show me that I'm not worthy of a conversation or I'm not worthy of discussing the issue or talking it out or anything like that then bitch you was never my friend to begin with and I can't even talk to the same bitch that lays in my bed. I can't even talk to the same bitch who know my business. I can't even talk to the same bitch who knows what I go through, been through it with me. Mm -hmm. Like, how'd you switch up so fast? That makes me question if you was ever real from the jump. Exactly. Because how can you just right. switch up so fast? Exactly. Like, how can people do that? Like, And then one thing I cannot stand is when bitches hang with bitches that they talk about. Right. You are a fake ass bitch. bitch. That's the Bro, word. You are fake. You Nasty are fake. Stink, bitch. <laughs> you are fake. And karma is gonna catch up to you. And I hope that's stupid. I hope that somebody <laughs> tells y'all about yourselves one day. Cause I'm not gonna be the one to tell y'all. Y'all can throw shots and subliminals and do what the fuck y'all do. But one day y'all gonna see. One day y'all gonna see that I wasn't the problem. I'm not the problem. Y'all look goofy, and I just want all y'all to know that. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> that person be dead ass. In this video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything that I do. I love you, Queendom. Brooke's gonna be fine. Just give me a little time. She's gonna bounce back better than ever. Make sure you get your Brooklyn Queen merch. Click up here or over here. And don't forget to stream Lost Count. I've been out here running through the fires. Lost count, bodies cause a couple honey buns. Lost count, dragon la bitch, ain't kind none. Lost count, yeah. bitch, you went to three, two, one, one. Oh, <laughs> my bad, y'all. Bye, y'all. Uh.